Hey guys, today I thought I would show you a little bit behind the scenes of creating some content. So I'm doing some flat lay content for a brand called Joe Mercer. And they have gorgeous shoes here in Adelaide, which I will show you. These are some of them. So today I'm gonna to be shooting three pairs of shoes. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of flat lays and I'm gonna show you the simplest way you can do this at home as well. So we have some great box lights, but you don't, you don't need big lights. You can do it with natural light or you can buy a ring light and you can use that as well. And then we just have a whole bunch of props to go with all of the different photos. So I have gone onto Instagram or Pinterest and I have saved a mood board and I've put some different ideas together. And then I have gone and sourced all of my props, which are mostly things that I have at home. And I have just set up my lounge room area. I put a white sheet down on the floor and you won't be able to see the white sheet in the photos, but just in case not everything lines up correctly, there are, then there'll be like a little bit of white coming through. It's better than having the floor come through. And that way I have a nice big space to work with as well. I do have cardboard as well. So I have printed some colored cardboard from Officeworks and I use them for my backdrops as well. So you have some different options. You can even go onto Pinterest and find a nice Back, background that I've done with one of the images, which is a marble background. So I found that on Pinterest, printed it out on a really big piece of cardboard. So I'll show you that as well. But here are some of my tips for creating flat lay content. This is what you guys have requested. So I hope you enjoy. So this is the little area in the house that we use to create all our content in. I've just blocked it off with our heater because the dog keeps walking all over everything, which is not ideal. I have my two box lights set up and this will just create nice even light. So I don't want any shadows on my images. So this will help. I've got one from the right and from the left and I'm also doing it right next to a really big window. So we're shooting these three pairs of shoes right here. Like I said, we use a white sheet on the floor. Now, if you're wanting to use the white sheet as your actual background, you should 100% iron this first. But if you're not, if you're just using it like I'm using it, then it's totally fine. We do have another sheet here as well. So sometimes I will move this up there and then it will create a nice big space that we can create content in. These are my props for today. I've got an Arj shirt, Annie Bing, and then I've got a beautiful ribbed top. Now props that I like to use are little things like makeup and some jewelry. And then like little pieces like rings. These are all the filler content, the filler pieces for the content. Then I've got some flowers, I've got some glasses a whole bunch of knits that I love to use underneath for a bit of texture and some magazines. So they are all the different things that I'll be using for these looks. And these are the shoes that we are shooting. We're gonna start with just a plain white sheet first and then I'll grab something like the magazine for a little bit of texture behind. And we're going to get this gray knit as well. So for the first look, we are going to use these shoes right here and I'm gonna show you how I style everything and how we get the shot. Then from here, I'm going to grab my, my shoes and going to see where I wanna place them first before I go in with all of my little filler bits and pieces.
then from here, I'm gonna grab my little box of filler items and I'm gonna see where I can place some of them. So like this. So the second boot that we're gonna be shooting is this one right here. And I'll show you how I put everything into place. This is the final look that we have ended up with, which I am very happy with. I'll show you some photos in a sec. Some good prop ideas are if you have any makeup, they're always really good filler pieces. If you have any t-shirts, like plain white t-shirts or any printed tees, perfume. Perfume is always a really, really good filler. Jumpers, they make for really nice textures in the background. Oh, you can reach. Then glasses as well, they always make really nice filler pieces. Uh, usually I would have real flowers, but I didn't have time to go and get flowers, so fake ones it is. And we're also going to be shooting this Kimmy knit jumper. So you can see that for this tight shot, which was just pretty much this, this is how the whole setup. So even though you, we only want this little section here, we still set up the entire thing. And then we'll just crop it in. So my three tips when creating a flat lay is to have a nice background. So like I said, you can get them printed out at Officeworks or your local stationery store. So I have got some colors printed or you can just use a plain white sheet like I have. Then my second tip is to get props like I've shown you, all of the ones that I use and then to have really good lighting that is essential and that's what you will find will make or break your flat lay. So when, when the lighting is bad outside or when you don't have the proper lighting inside, you'll, you'll start to wonder why it's not working and it is 90% of the time because the lighting is bad. So they are my tips. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you would like to see more behind the scenes of me creating some content and we can do another video like this. But if you did enjoy it, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye.